Welcome all, and thank you for being here today. Before we begin, we're most honored this morning by the presence of Child Study and Human Development Professor Richard M. Lerner, our flag recipient. Professor Lerner is being honored for his lifetime study of military leadership development with West Point and his 10 years of service as a member of the Board of Directors of the Military Child Education Coalition. We are also honored to have newly promoted U.S. Army Colonel Susan Gannon as our keynote speaker. More about her later. We are also honored by the presence of the active duty staff of our ROTC units from the Army, Navy, and Air Force, especially Navy Captain Michael Savageau and Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Marshall Preston and by the wonderful presence of our Tufts football team and other athletics personnel. At this time, I would like to invite our university chaplain, Reverend Elise Nelson Winger, to the podium to deliver the invocation. Good morning. Maya Angelou, in her inaugural poem for the nation in 1993, proclaimed this. Lift up your faces. You have a piercing need for this bright morning dawning for you. History, despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived. But if faced with courage, need not be lived again. Lift up your eyes upon this day, breaking for you. Give birth again to the dream. Friends, today we honor all members of our Tufts University community who have served or are serving in the military as ROTC cadets, soldiers, nurses, physicians, chaplains, musicians, scientists, engineers, diplomats, and so many more. To honor their sacrifice and dedication, let us today find new ways to work for and be peace on this campus, in our communities, and this nation. Let us work tirelessly for justice for all people for diplomacy that makes war always the last resort. Let us commit anew to care for every veteran through health and spiritual care, education and opportunity. And let us make room in our lives for their stories of both triumph and struggle so that one day, as the prophet Isaiah once proclaimed, we beat our swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks, so that nation no longer lifts up sword against nation. And finally, we learn war no more. Peace be with you all. Thank you, Reverend Nestle Winger. As President John F. Kennedy once said, a nation reveals itself not only by the men and women it produces, but also by the men and women it honors, the men and women it remembers. We are gathered here today to honor those who have safeguarded our freedom with their duty, honor, and selfless service to our great nation. From those who served in the Revolutionary War to those deployed all around the world today, we honor their courage, dedication, and sacrifices. Some ceremonies choose to honor veterans by collecting retired old flags, while others present flags to retiring service members. Here at Tufts, we have traditionally chosen to honor our service members, past and present, by passing our nation's flag from one member of our ROTC contingent to another up the memorial steps. Each memorial step landing is dedicated to a war in which Tufts alumni have served. We pass the flag, surely and steadily, to render the greatest honor to each landing, to the memory of the war and our alumni represented. Then we carry the flag, surely and steadily, down the steps between the landings to remember and honor all of the other Tufts veterans whose battles and operations have no landing. Surely and steadily, we then present the flag to our honored guest, the flag recipient. Today we present the flag to Child Study and Human Development Professor Richard M. Lerner in recognition for his longtime study of military leadership development with West Point and his 10 years of service as a member of the Board of Education's of the Military Child Education Coalition.
Thank you sincerely for your efforts. We also render honors and pay tribute to the families of our service members. Their debt is not forgotten. Now, the Jackson Jills, Tufts' oldest all-female a cappella group, will sing the national anthem. After the national anthem, we will commence the Pass the Flag ceremony. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet Thank you. Detail, pass the flag. During this time, I will recite, my name is Old Glory. I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over great institutes of learning. I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I am arrogant. I am proud. When I'm flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher. My colors, a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshiped, I am saluted, I am respected. I am revered, I am loved, and I am feared. I have fought every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the deserts of Africa, the cane fields of the Philippines, the rice paddies and jungles of Guam, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Guadalcanal, New Britain, Peleliu, and many more islands. And a score of places long forgotten by all but those who were with me. I was there. I led my soldiers. I followed them. I watched over them. They loved me. I was on a small hill in Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired. But my soldiers cheered me, and I was proud. I have been soiled, burned, torn and trampled on the streets of countries I have helped set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my country. And when it is by those whom I have served in battle, it hurts. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the bonds of earth and stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space from my vantage point on the moon. I have been a silent witness to all of America's finest hours. But my finest hour 
comes when I am torn into strips to be used for bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly at half mast to honor my soldiers, and when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the graveside of her fallen son, I am proud. My name is Old Glory. Dear God, long may I wave. Now please listen as the Jackson Jills sing America the Beautiful. Thank you. Taps and Echoes will now be played by Medford High School Junior, Dominic, De Dominic Bruno, and Tufts Junior, Jojo Zhang. Thank you. This concludes our Pass the Flag ceremony. Please now follow Art Bagpiper, Hamish Blackstone, and proceed to the nearby auditorium in Robinson Hall to listen to patriotic speeches. For those of you requiring assistance to Robinson Hall, please let us know and a cadet or midshipman will assist you. Everyone else, please now proceed to Robinson Hall. Thank you. <laughs> 